So today we have a pretty spicy mod that randomizes your towers whenever you drop one down or upgrade it. So for example, let me drag over this free dart monkey and see what it changes to. 000 glue gunner. Now there is one slight twist to this mod where it actually is a balanced random towers mod. So you can't just upgrade the glue soak and then it'll turn into a true sun god. Obviously that would be a little bit too unbalanced. Same with the other way around, upgrade true sun god to like a base dart monkey. Basically, this one finds upgrades between 0.8 or 1.2 times the cost of that upgrade. Of the total tower, by the way. So let's say I upgrade Glue Soak. The total cost of this tower is roughly $500. Ignore the free Glue Gunner price. I think it counts the normal price. So that's why we get a 0 to 0 attack. Because that is within the range of, well, you know, the 0, 1 0, zero Glue Gunner. And that's why we got this one. So big shout out to Timothy for creating this one. And we're going to play this one on uh, Cornfield Hard. No idea how this is going to turn out in terms of difficulty. But I guess we'll see. I really want to get a Blade Shooter. I think it would be really good in this curve. But it might just turn into a completely random or bad tower. Well, let's just find out. Total cost about 1k. What do we get? Oh, a Missile Launcher. Well, that's not what I wanted. I think I should buy another upgrade then and see what it does. What, what do we get now? Anything better? Oh, this is not good either. 1, 2, 0, Alchemist. I think perhaps dropping a second tower down would help us, just so we don't have to rely on, you know, the luck of the draw in case we get a really bad randomized tower. So let's drop two down. I think I'm going to change this dark market because a 1, 0, 1 is pretty, uh, pretty meh. Let's see what we get. 1, 2, 0. Okay, a little bit better. At least we get attack speed now. But yeah, I believe the randomizer also doesn't care about the amount of upgrades you bought on it. So for example, if I upgrade to 220, it won't choose a random 220 tower. It'll be any tower that's within the price range. So let's just upgrade this to AMD. Because I don't like this early game ALK. And we got a boat. Whoa, land boat. Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering. Would I would I ever get randomized to a water tower? And uh, speak of the devil. We got the land boat. Now this I think is a keeper for the time being. 202 is, well, pretty alright as you see. So, I think I'm gonna drop a third tower. Maybe I'll drop my hero. I think the hero also randomizes. So, he might actually not get a hero. Well, let's see. Nope, we get a 0-1-2 tack. But that's not too bad also. So, I'll, I'll keep that around for now. So, I think the good news with this randomizer is that I can pretty much keep on randomizing as long as I don't max up all, all the upgrades. So, for example, if it's like a... If I get like a randomized to a one five zero tower and it's a bad, it's a bad fifth tier... Then I could buy one more upgrade to, you know, randomize it once more. Obviously, the dead end is once I get a fully um, five, seven upgrades on a tower. But we don't have to worry about that until much later. I ideally, I like to get a farm. I wonder if it cares about the footprint. So, for example, can I turn, let's say, a dartling gun into a farm? Well, actually, no, that's not in the same price range. How about a spike factory? What do we get? 130 triple dart? Eh. Yeah, I guess it's good enough early. I'll take it for now. I think it's time to upgrade this Dart Monkey. You got 2k in the bank. Let's buy this guy. And we get a... Oh, whoa. I think this is pretty... Not so good, is it? Well, let's just change it then. Okay, we get a 200 mortar. I still don't like it. Let's spend 1,000 to make this even more expensive. What do we get now? Ballistic Missile. Oh, hey, this is a good one. Like, minus the line of sight. I could just remove this. And uh, I think we could get a... Uh, well, we could definitely leave this guy around for the time being, then. In fact, let's remove the coin and drop another tower. And see what randomizer we get. Another uh, plain attack. Even though the max round is 80, I do want to try to get to around 100 with this. So, uh, ideally, again, I'd like to get a farm down. So, that's why I'm going to just keep ra randomizing this guy. Until I uh, get a uh, farm tower, or at least a strong tower. I don't really like this. Let's try again. Okay, Shimmer D Camo. I'll, I'll keep this around, actually, because it might be really useful. In case I do accidentally or, or not end up getting Camo Detection on any other tower. I am guess I'm left with no choice, then, than to, uh, well, upgrade more towers. I think, I'm, I think it's time to get rid of this guy. Early game is... We're getting past that point now. So, 002. Nope, not good. 020, not good enough. Oh, 1, 2. Oh, it's so close. Should I buy this? We'll get a tower within the cost range of 3 to 4k. Let's see what we get. Anything good? Oh, 023. Hmm. I don't think it's very good. I think I'll, I'll, I think I'll see out the 3.7k. We are rolling the dice hardcore here. Also, this is not good. 
I might lose here. Maybe I'll quickly upgrade this Dart Monkey. I don't like that. Crowd drops. Okay, we got a bigger Radius Village. Still not very good. God damn. Yeah, right now, our only really good tower is the Ballistic Missile, but even that's only so, like, so good. I gotta get a good one here. No, Rubber to Gold. I think we lose here, guys. I think it's over. Unless... Wait, 31 lives? 16? Nope. God damn, we got cucked. Cucked by the RNG. Well, we can always try again. And uh, let's see what I should upgrade. Well, I think the double shot boat isn't any good anymore since it's no grape shot. So let's just... Come on, let's get lucky here. No, another long life. Come on. Alright, why not? Arctic Wind? Okay, that's not bad, actually. It gets a nice radius for most of the map. So yeah, I guess you could keep it around for now. I think I definitely want to get rid of this Let's Go, though. It's not going to be popping many leads this far back in the track. Well, and now we're down to White Bloons because I have a useless <laughs> Long Life factory. Holy, th well, this is harder than I thought, guys. I thought I could handle Cornfield hard, but either I'm getting unlucky or there just are really... There's a lot of really bad mid-game towers. Who knows? Well, now we get a chance to get out of the Long Life Spike. And, oh, yes. Beautiful, guys. We did it. <laughs> we finally got a good draw on an amazing Crosspath Tower, Artillery Battery. And even if I want to change it, I couldn't until I saved up 32.4k. And not that I would, because Artillery Battery is insanely good mid-game. Well, yeah, I guess that's all it takes, guys. Get lucky, and now we can pretty much, well, probably go all the way to at least round 60 with this one mortar here. Thank you, RNG gods. Well, now that we've got an easy mid-game, I think now's our chance to start rolling the dice. Also, I am leaking camo, so maybe we're not out of the woods. But either way, I need to get a better thing than Let's Gold. So, what is it? Okay, Balloon Trap. It's not terrible. can catch some leakers. In fact, you want to see a big brain play? I'll put the artillery back here so that I can feed money into the Balloon Trap. So that way, it kind of counts as my farm, you know what I mean? Gotta think big here. Now, I'm gonna keep losing the camos if I don't get a camo tower, so let me remove this thing. And just try to get lucky with the camo tower, come on. I'll drop a super monkey to go big here. No. Yes. No. Bro, we lost by actually the exact amount of lives. <laughs> That's so unlucky. At least now we have the flash bomb for the start of this round, so uh, I think we'll be fine. Well, I'm not too stoked of the fact that I already used three continues this far into the game, but again, I didn't know what to expect going into it. So hopefully, um, that is the last continue I use. Now, I'm gonna keep rolling towers because at some point, I'm gonna need a better tower than artillery battery. So yeah, I'm gonna use this 3k tower just to get a a strong randomized tower first. So, um, shell shock. I think we can probably go a little bit better than that. Upgrade. We can do better than a sharpshooter, I think, in the back of the track. Uh, shell shock again, 320. Um, okay, fine, I'll take it. Yeah, I didn't take a 3-1-0, but for some reason I'm taking a 3-2-0. I guess it's probably because I don't want to waste 8k in the next upgrade. How about I try the Arctic Wind? Because it seems like it's not getting a big radius of the balloons anyways. Plus, it loses money from the balloon trap, so... Oh, also, Moabs. Gotta use the ability there. Okay, balloon impact. That's actually pretty good. I'll keep it around, I guess, for the mid-game. I think what I need is mob defense, because right now it's only artillery battery, and you see how weak it is? Oh yeah, that's, that's not good at all. Let's get another Super Monkey up here. Come on. Nope. <laughs> why are we getting so many mortars? Nope, that's not what I wanted. No, that's not what I wanted. But hey, we have Cam Protection now, so maybe I'll keep it around, even though it's kind of a waste of money. Yeah, I just gotta keep getting lucky, guys. What, what can I say? We need mob defense. Not mob defense. There we go, yes. Finally. ODS Artillery. I think we got a solid mid-game now, guys. Just my only concern is lack of, lack of, uh, you know, farming. Also, another thing I find pretty cool is that I think the angle of the towers are randomized too. So we got an angled p ring, as well as a kind of sideways, um, ace. Also, 63 here. Hopefully I don't need to use any abilities for this round. That's good. So I'm just gonna keep this money, I guess. 23k, until we need to spend it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't swap out the, the ODS or the artillery. I think I'll just start upgrading these ones back. Because, yeah, now that I got um full camo, do I really need this guy? Probably not. Yeah, I guess we'll upgrade it. See if we get anything good. Not good enough. Spike Storm. Okay, Arcane Spike, but it's far back of the track. 
I don't really like it. If it was at the front, maybe, but I want a global range tower. I'm picky. Okay, Shattering Shells, beautiful. Guys, this is our round 98 defense. Absolutely perfect. I think that's how I'm gonna play this game out. Basically, if I land a solid late game tower, we keep it. If we land a solid mid game tower, we keep it until it gets to late game. And then we swap it out. Now, I think with 37k in the bank, it's a good time to start swapping out the bad towers. So, I don't need the Shimmer anymore because I have the village. So, let's see what we get. Um, Cluster Bombs, uh, good mid game, but I think we're past that. So, and I also think we're fine against 78, like with the artillery battery and all the group bomb power. So, let's switch it out. And, oh, beautiful. We got our farm. Uh, 75 rounds late, but, you know, better late than ever. So, I'll, I'll keep that around, for sure. If you never see how the back of a marketplace looks like, well, now here you go. Let's upgrade uh, this one now. Yeah, Shellshock is pretty uh, not needed late game. Big one. Okay, aircraft carrier. This is also pretty good mid game. I don't know how good it is late game. But I'll keep it around for now, because, you know, global range back there. You'll be hard pressed to, like, randomize to get another, another global range tower. So, I'm gonna take my luck and run from there. I think next up I want to swap out is maybe this guy. Ballistic Missile is, uh... It, it's had a long time. I think it's the longest tenured tower here right now. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Let's upgrade this 14k upgrade, and we'll get a pretty good... Or we'll probably get a pretty pricey tower with this. What is it? Oh, shit, okay. Another income generator tower. Thus, another tower that I'll keep around. Boy, our luck definitely is cutting around now that we're in the mid-game. It does have to even out at some point, right? After those terrible early game draws. Oh, also, um, I'm dead to this round. Oh, wow. Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot, guys. Because I, sh I moved my Shimmer away, I didn't realize that um, only one tower is under range of the uh, um, P Mentoring. Well, that's my bad. Actually, I do have a Shattering Shell, so I actually should have uh, microed it. I didn't realize at the time I was uh, not paying attention. Well, I'll pay attention this time around, and hopefully we shouldn't leak. So there's no attack speed on this mortar, so we have to... Uh, our micro has to be on point for the ceramics here. Gotta make sure we got everything and micro two mortars at the same time, so uh, good luck. Micro. Uh, I think we're missing some ceram still. But we do have Shinook. Come on. Shinook? I don't know if we can blow back enough camos, but I think we did, okay. Yeah, microing three towers at a time. Pretty damn difficult, I have to say. Now, I think it's also time for uh, this trap to go away, but I can't. I gotta spend 58k. Do you guys think it's it's worth it? Risking it all on this next upgrade here? This will be all my money if I actually wait this long. Now, I know it's probably more wise to get a lot of s smaller towers just so, you know, you don't get unlucky and then lose if you get a bad tier 5, but, you know, I think it's more fun if we just risk it all. So, you guys ready? We're kind of already struggling to the early 80s here, so I'm gonna do it. Wish me luck, guys. Three, two, one. And we get Apache Prime. Okay. That's why you risk it all, guys. Because sometimes uh, you, you might just end up, you know, winning in the end. We get the probably the best possible thing. Apache Prime is absolutely amazing in, uh, well, BT6. So it'll basically be all 100 rounds for us. Unless uh, it doesn't get, like, decamoed. Right now, I think we're missing is DDTs because, yeah... It's not so good against DT, that's its weakness, and also it doesn't have camo, so... Uh, what, I have this Shattering Shells for decamo of the of the DTs? So now that we got an almost guaranteed victory, I think we try to guarantee even more. So let's see if we can get, like, a lucky decamo option. Or maybe good DT defense. Or bad defense, even. Although I don't think we'll need it. Let me just see. I'll keep randomizing this tower until I get something good. Something good and useful late game. Nope, not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Oh! Well, there we have it, guys. Now we're set against DDTs for the most part. See DDTs here? Um, actually... Pursuit? Wait! Wait, is the... Was this not working or what? Hold on. I have no idea how we lost with an Apache Prime there. Okay, I think what might have happened is that the Apache wasn't pursuiting because it was, um far back in the track, and it moved too slowly, so I'm just gonna have to micro this round, I think. Or if I lose again, I guess I'm going to need to keep randomizing until I get, you know, better support. Because right now, my only support is nothing. I don't have any slowdown, and I actually almost died to 90 there, so yeah, I'm dead to 93. I thought I was safe, but I forgot that Apache Prime, um, 
Yeah, that weakness... It's a pretty big weakness if I don't have any... Any slowdown, so let's uh, keep randomizing, I guess. What I would ask right now for a Morph Glue... I'm gonna just buy the cheap upgrades, just because... The more you randomize, the higher chance you get an upgrade that ends up being... Very solid. So I'm just gonna keep buying the cheapest upgrade. To get something good. Oh, Jungle Drums? Is this in range? Oh, yes. Okay. So now we have plus attack speed on the on the Jungle Drums, or on the Apache Prime. So I'll keep this guy around. I think I'm gonna drop a new tower just to uh, roll the die even more. Um, bomb race, not good enough. 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 Still not there. Still not there. Another Shadow Ring? No, I don't need to. I'm good. Um, Dumb Dark Knight. Well, it's not like I have an option, really, because I can't... Well, the next upgrade is $60,000, and I can't afford it. I also should have mentioned that. I haven't sold any towers the entire game. That's because I think it's more fun that way, because if I just get, like, you know, a, a bad random tower and then I just sell it, it kind of just cheeses the point of this mod, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm keeping them around. Also, I think I'm dead again this round. Let's just see. Bop and awe. Nope. I knew I didn't have enough. Still. Well, in terms of towers I don't need, probably Aircraft Carrier because, like, I need DD defense. This does nothing. So let's just upgrade. How am I getting two Shadow Rings? Okay. Here's the good news. Because this one's not Cross Path, I can buy this one. Upgrade this one to change it. Spiked Mines? Okay. Well, I mean, I have to keep it because the next one's Super Mines. So uh, at least it's in the back of the track, right? If it was at the front, I would be very sad. Now, I do believe that is enough. Hopefully, it's enough to help us beat this round. Come on. Bombardments, and then Spike Mines will clean up, right? Yes, sir. Spike Mines coming to clutch. I think it's a good time to try our luck at another um, expensive tower, because I don't need this reactor anymore. I already have camo. So, who's ready? We're going to get about a $40,000 tower with this one. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Archmage? Okay. Okay. I can run with this because Archmage Apache Prime, like, isn't... That's a pretty uh, decent 2TC combo. Even though this isn't chips. I mean, Archmage does do enough DT damage, right? Or am I actually still dead? Wow. Okay, these towers are way worse than I thought. Maybe it's because we don't have an app off on them or something. But my monkey money, man, it is... It, it sure is getting drained. I think it's time we transform this farm into a real tower. So, 3, 2, 1... S mail, okay. I can work with this because it does it does pop leads. So it, with this in combination with Archmage and Apache Prime, I swear to God, if that's not enough uh, DD popping, then uh, I'm just gonna be at lost words. In the meantime, I'm gonna drop another tower here just so we can maybe get lucky. Please give me more blue or more press. Anything that's good support. No, no, no. Imprintment. Oh, this is fine. 420 gives plus one damage to everything that it hits. Okay, I'm ready to see. I'm excited to see how this is going to work out. So, let's use S Maelstrom when we fall behind. So, now, go, 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 tax. Go, go, go. Come on. That has to be enough to be at 95, right? I swear to God, I'm dead to 99. Because, yeah. Um, if normal DTs get this far, imagine Fortifieds. I might still be dead. Luckily, we clutch up on the last DT. Holy! Well, we don't have much time here, guys. Let's just keep let's just keep going quickly. Got to get something good enough for DT is. Nope. 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 No. Oh, oh mob shove. Wait. Yeah, it has camo. It has camo because it's under the village. This is good. This slows down DT is enough. I would hope. So I'll keep it around. Also, because it's 98 here, um, with Shattering, this round will be no problem. I should probably use this time to just maybe get lucky again. Roll a good tower with my remaining 20k, so let's go. I'm gonna just keep randomizing until there's something. I see something. Good, then stop. Not good, not good. Not good. Do I use S-Mail here, or am I fine? Oh, we got a Spike Storm. That's good, that's good. Let's stop here. I think we absolutely have enough to defend now. If we don't, again... I would be very disappointed. It's also very strange that my spike stream doesn't show up on the abilities in the top, on the bottom left. See, it's missing. Either way, 98 is easy, and 99 should be easy now. At least with all these abilities. If it's not again, would be shocked. So let's use this. Let's use this. 
And that should be all I need. Right? No S-mail needed? Good. Good, 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 good. And, uh, final bad. Should be no problem with Apache Prime and, uh, you know, Archmage. Overall, yeah, th this was harder than I expected. Maybe I should have picked an user map, but I thought I could handle it. Turns out, random towers, well, you know, they, they wreck you more than you expect. And so that'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for what to do with this Random Towers mod, I would appreciate it. Because honestly, this was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure I'd love to return to it if I had um, another, um, you know, fun idea with it. Or I could just run it back again. Hopefully next time, maybe no continues. But yeah, that's all for now. Leave your ideas down below, and I'll see you guys next time.